Hi there. Hi, I like your scarf. Oh, it's thank very you. Mind if I sit for a second? Yeah, sure. Take your time. Are you from Rome here? No, I'm visiting. No. I'm leaving today, though. Oh, what are you? Congratulations! <laughs> What's your name, by the way? Victor? And my sister. What sister? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you look very... And you have a beautiful name as well. Thank you. Um, maybe next time you're in Rome, do you want to hang out? Drink coffee? Um, Perugino. <laughs> Do you want to go together? Yeah, welcome to the dojo, baby, man, have no fear, Taekwondo is here, man, listen, I was sent this situation by a member of the dojo, so he went on this guy, the Social Animals YouTube channel, shout out to him for hosting this, this, this gives me so many ideas, this is a beautiful concept to really meet people IRL, and put them to the test and show them like, hey, let's learn through doing. Let's not learn through watching. Let's not learn through saying, okay, I'm, I'm gonna see enough videos, but let's learn through your experiences. Now, I wanna say shout out to this guy for putting himself out there and sending this to me and saying, you know what, Ty, I want your opinion, I want your advice. You're already miles ahead of all the other people because everybody's still too scared to fail. Nobody has the courage to fail. Nobody has the courage to say, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna take AL on the chin until I get better and it is what it is. That's the only mentality you'll have in order to actually improve at any skill in life. And approaching is a skill, it's something you get better at, it's something you become smoother at, it's something that becomes less awkward over time. It's something that can become second nature, second hand. Now, I'ma say this. A lot of y'all get on me and say, oh Ty, Ty, why are you so mean, you so rude, you never satisfied? Brother, if I gotta be the Gordon Ramsay of dating, I'ma be the Gordon Ramsay of dating coaching. I'm not here to be your mom and, oh good, good boy to me. And, and kiss your helmet when you get knocked on your ass. I'm here to tell you to go the fuck harder. Be better. Be more. Raise the bar. Set the standard. Because this attitude and mentality is what gets shit done. I ain't trying to encourage no weak ass shit. Because I ain't no weak ass man. Let's get to clip number one. I'm going to use two clips. I'm going to use a good example and a bad example. And I'm going to point out everything that I noticed and think you need to hear. And may anybody watch this and get better themselves when they put themselves to the test. Excuse me? Hi, do you speak English by any chance? Perfect. I like your green dress. Thank you. It's very pretty. Are you from Rome? No, you're visiting here? From where? Australia. Australia? Wow. Very far away. I've been in Thailand just a couple of weeks ago. What's your name? Very nice to meet you. Hi. So you're also from Australia? Uh-huh. It's good. Yeah. Um, I think you're pretty. Do you want to hang out maybe in Australia? When I move there? When you move there? Yep. Yeah, when are you moving there? Um, I didn't plan yet, but as soon as, <laughs> as soon as I can. Maybe I don't know. I have to check my schedule. Oh Very really? Busy. So what what schedule look like? Yeah. Are you like a Every very day important person? Yeah. Very. Who are you? Just gonna say Just tell me. <laughs> tell me your name and number, and I'll search you and I'll see who you are. No, thank you. Sorry. Okay. Take us a compliment. Have a good day. Now that's the first clip. Let me give my review of this. One of the biggest things I noticed that it, it, it lacked continuity, it lacked progression. Like, okay, you, you literally repeated yourself. You said, that I like your dress, it's pretty. Okay, cool, a compliment is honestly one of the easiest conversation starters that anybody can use, that anybody can have. You can start it with a compliment, you can start it with introducing yourself. You might even start it with a random ass comment. You might even start it with, by being blunt and direct in certain circumstances. Not every approach is the same. Not every interaction is the same. If I've got, if I'm getting a woman through like a drive-through, this is a quick, on-the-moment, direct situation. It could be my Uber Eats driver. I remember I bagged my Uber Eats driver. I literally had to get her in two sentences. Do you ever order Uber Eats? That shit is a handoff, and they walk away. So I, my first question was, "Do you got a boyfriend?" And my second question was, "Take my number." That wasn't even a question, but it's a statement. All right, so take my number down. And then it was just, it, I knew I had to be direct. Now, with walking up to women and approaching them, there's two main questions that are so important and on her mind. Who are you and what do you want? Who are you can be answered in several ways. Not only is it, it's not just your name, like, oh, my name is Ty, my name is, you know, Victor or something like that. It's also answered in my energy. Who is this guy? Is he, is he charismatic? Is he funny? Is he awkward? Is he creepy? Is he nervous? Is he confident? Who is he? So I'm, I'm also presenting myself through my, my character. I'm, through, I'm presenting myself through my personality. But my name is one thing too. So there's this who are you element. 
Then number two, what do you want? This is why I said your conversation lacked continuity or progression. So it's like, okay, you complimented my dress. You asked me where I'm from. You did this. Where's this going? You said hang out in Rome. Now, when I show the second clip, you, you keep saying hang out. Stop saying hang out. For, this goes for everybody. Be more specific. You actually see your second clip, and anytime you had success, you mentioned a coffee date. Dog, it could be anything. It could be, it could be coffee, pizza, tea, fucking basketball. I don't give a fuck what you say. But it's better to be specific than it is to say hang out. Because hang out almost sounds like the guy who's trying to fuck, but he don't want to say it. And he's scared. So it just gives weird vibes. It's better to be specific. It also lets her know, okay, it sounds like a good time. And then, you know, she's more likely to say, I'm down for that. Then hang out. Because what, what does hang out even mean? You also took the route of, I'm moving to Australia. <sighs> okay, Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> if this was a joke, let's say it's cool. This was part of your sense of humor. You missed her sense of humor. So she said, oh, I'm moving to Australia. Australia. Then when she said, oh, really? When? Oh, okay. You know, I'm busy. I have to check my schedule. She was being sarcastic. Like, this is like her playing along. Like, oh, I'm not busy. I'm scheduled. I'm a very important person. You didn't even play along. Oh, so I guess I might. I'm, I should get an autograph then, huh? You must not. Like, play along. Go catch the vibe. Match the energy or, or, or set the tone. Peep what I just said. Either match the energy or set the tone. Now, as a man, I prefer y'all set the tone. I prefer y'all come in cool, confident, or whatever your vibe or personality is, and you're setting the tone through that. But if she, let's say, the more experience you have, you realize that all women, all these interactions will vibe and play out differently. This is why experience is so important. Some women, you might literally get smack ignored when you approach them. Like, hey, how you doing? And just, she don't even say nothing. I'm like, damn, bitch. It, it give you one of them bad vibes. Some of them, you get it done in 30 seconds. Some of them, oh, hey, I got a boyfriend rejection. All right, cool. Some of them, you get them, but it's not much conversation. You know, y'all exchange contact information, but it wasn't a lot of rapport. Some of them, y'all have a whole great conversation. Y'all chemistry was strong off, off the bat. So your experience will show you it can go a million ways. And, and being open-minded is so important during approaches. You can't say, okay, this is my script and this is exactly what I'm going to say. Unless you know how to adapt with your plan. But a lot of y'all can't are not adaptable yet because y'all are not confident to make a quick move. Y'all not y'all haven't unlocked your creativity yet. So the best thing you can do is just be open minded. I'll give you an example too of why it's better to say, you know, coffee or tea or whatever than hang out. Because once you let them know, okay, I just moved to Rome or I'm I'm new here, now you give yourself another opportunity to or a door to walk through, which is Hey, I'm new to Rome and I was looking for someone who has the experience of a native. Um, and since you're from here, that's actually perfect. I think you could show me a lot about the city. What do you think? Or, or you know, maybe you plan to that. Or we should get some coffee sometime and talk about it more or get to know each other more. And it honestly paints a picture of what do you want? What is this guy about? More than, let's hang out. That's valid. Very valid okay. point. Excuse me? Hi. Um, I think you look very pretty. Uh, what's your name? Oh, you both? Yes. Wow, I like those names. So what's going on today? Uh, we are going to shop to do shopping. You do shopping? Here. You tourist life? Or you live here? Uh, no, we live here. Oh, yeah, you live here? I don't understand so well English. <laughs> I live here now as well. I just moved here from Ukraine, but... Ah, yeah, I think I like your outfit. Like, <laughs> very flowery. Yes. Oh, yeah. Like flowers? First thing I... I had in the <laughs> armadio. <laughs> armadio? I don't know what it's like. Uh, room, in the room. No, eh. the first things uh, oh. when you buy ah, dress. <laughs> That's very smart of you. Do you want to hang out like maybe next week? Hang out last week. Like uh, next go week. for a Starbucks coffee. Starbucks coffee. Yeah, do you like coffee? Next week. Yeah, yeah next week. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Give me a number. Okay. So your English is very good, I must say. Oh, thank you. have to tell this to my English teacher. I will. Nice Was to nice to meet you. We'll hang out next week. Okay. Have a good day. <laughs> you too. Ciao. Now this second clip, I love it, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. Another one v two. 
which the average guy is scared to walk up to one woman, let alone a friend group, by himself, on camera, ready to take the L in front of the world. This, you know, you gotta realize what kind of savage this is building in you, and the kind of callus it's putting on your confidence, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Now, you flow this nicely, right? Now, in this situation, the woman like kind of barely spoke English, but he also used that to give a more accurate compliment. Now, listen, y'all know I, I made a video. One of my this is my second video I ever made, which was flirt without complimenting, right? And y'all, a lot of y'all took that as, oh, Todd never compliments. Todd just doesn't compliment women, blah blah blah. No, I made a video on the Patreon that talked about making impactful compliments. See, it's one thing if I'm just a random guy in her DMs that says, oh my God, you're cute, you're pretty, blah, blah, blah. But when I compliment her on something that's relevant to something only I know, not me being the only person in the world, but something that she told me and I brought back up in this situation, um, he, you know, she told him she was working on her English. So when he compliments on her English, it's much more impactful because it's it's more important, it's relevant to her than some random attribute. It'd be like if a woman told you, oh, I take my art really serious, I'll take my paintings really serious, and then you give her a compliment like, oh, I love the message that this paint that this painting shows and displays. That compliment would do her 10 times more of an impact than saying, oh, I like your shoes. Unless she's a sneakerhead. Is she a sneakerhead? Is she into fashion? You see what I'm saying? It always has to do with the relevancy of what matters to that person if you're going to make an impactful compliment and you did great with that now you also see how the difference between hang out and go for starbucks coffee was like oh starbucks coffee she was like hang out what now it's also could be because she didn't understand what what, what it meant in english but as soon as you see the coffee she's like yeah coffee, we could go out for that it's, 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 not, it's nothing to it then when you're on that coffee date that's when your conversation does the work what i like as well in this clip is your confidence to say okay you know give me your number or i'd rather you say take my number down i'd rather you say you know exchange contact information or something give me your number it's tough you got okay boy you know what i mean and i'm gonna use this clip of me you know going at a woman that we was at the airport um we came off like the shuttle get, getting dropped off at the terminal and i was we was having a conversation this is from an old vlog i put it in the um, description so that y'all can see this and we was having a random conversation, and after I was like, you know what, I want her number. So I went after her and, and approached her completely after the fact. And look how I got it and closed it in like two sentences. It shouldn't take much. It shouldn't be long. It shouldn't be stretched out and random and pointless. But again, remember, who are you that was already answered in our conversation throughout the rest of the vlog? And then what do you want? Here it is. Where's Deanna? Huh? She's out there. Dan, come here real quick. Straight, come here. Come here real quick. No, I got a bag. Just say, you should say your name was Dan. Mm -hmm. uh, let me get your number real quick before I leave. Mm -hmm. oh. I thought y'all was about to do the dash out this joint. What y'all waiting for, a car? Yeah, I'm good. I look smart as you. Oh. Straight, easy money sniper, gang. Okay? So I close it with something calm and respectful. Let me get your number real quick before I leave. Letting her know. Well, let's exchange this contact information. We about to split from this airport and we in different parts of Houston or whatever I was at at the time. Simple. A lot of y'all that lack experience in approaching think it has to be the most marvelous thing in the world. Think it has to be, I need to have the smoothest pickup line. No, stop wasting a bunch of time and just go get a lot of experience. No, just enjoy what you're doing. Just, you know what? You see a woman you want, it's no harm done. I'm, I'm approaching her. I win the moment I shoot. If I'm a shooter, if I'm a sniper, I win the moment I shoot. I'm doing my thing. Whatever happens, happens. I love you all. Keep continuing to grow. Keep continuing to go out your comfort zone. Dojo to the moon to Saturn. We leave in the solar system. Let's don't even know we exist. You dig.